As we go to God in prayer this morning, we just want us to lift our heads upward. And let's believe and trust God. So many things happening on planet Earth today. And those of us who understand biblical history and realize what is happening on planet Earth, all you can say, the Lord is at hand. We just yesterday, I'm sure many of us, we got up to the sad news that Israel is on the attack. And uh, another war, right, we have in our hand. And of course, the Prime Minister of Israel said, citizens, we are at war. And so many lives are going to be taken. So many people are going to die. It's not over. And uh, we just pray that God will intervene. And, uh, you know, if ever a time we need to praise now, the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And uh, all of us, we need to pray that for the peace. We need to pray for the Palestinians. Pray that God will also help them. They are brothers. They are about <laughs> their, their family. But, you know, it has been going on from day one. But even as we're here in Antigua, you and I can pray. And so many things we need to pray. Don't take things lightly. Time's clock. Is striking the midnight hour. And wherever you're watching, we ask you to join us in prayer. As we just sing that chorus, this chorus again. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. In the cross. we look to you today we are glad that you are our father we have someone we can call upon in time of trouble and when the uncertainties of life and the perplexities and complexities of life when all such things seem to be surrounding and we tend to wonder what next where are we heading is there hope is there future and we wonder lord what next Lord, there's problems all around, politically, Lord, oh God, economically, Lord, God, socially, Lord, emotional challenges, Lord, so many things seem to be just weighing down on humanity, and people tend to be asking the question, how are we going to get out? Is there hope? But Lord, in the midst of all these uncertainties, that's why the church, we must have a message, a message of hope message pointing men to Jesus Christ who is the answer. You said to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for that nation. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Lord, I thought, oh God, even yesterday I said, well, in the past they had people like Jeremiah and they had people like Isaiah. And Lord, we had other persons who could have gone to God and prayed and and Lord, oh God, these things would have happened. But we are glad that you still remember them. You are, they are still your people. And we pray that you'll bring a calm in that Middle East. We pray that, oh God, that even think of mothers who have been taken, children. And Lord, oh God, many would be using them for, oh God, as hostages. And try to, Lord, in time of war, to use them as a shield. And, and I pray in Jesus' name. That God will bring a halt and an end even to it. And we pray that your name will be glorified. We think of, oh God, in Ukraine and the Russian. And we continue to pray for, oh God, that those wars will cease. And, and we think of other areas, oh God, civil wars, Syria and Turkey. And, and Lord, all across the globe. And Lord God, we wonder why, why, why. But the Bible tells us near the coming of Jesus... Wars will increase. When you see these things, the Bible said we should look up for redemption, draw it nigh. We pray that you help us as Christians to be focused on you, to love God, get involved, oh God, in winning souls for Christ. Because, Lord, the days are short. The moments, they're, they're just ticking away. But we're glad that God is still in charge. You're still in control. 
And God, you're going to see us through. Bless us as a church. May we all be, be a witness in church. May we be a church that always, oh God, encourage people to give their lives to you and to bring hope in the midst of chaos and hopelessness. And may we realize that, God, you are still on the throne and you can come through today. Bless us, Lord. Bless each person. Bless, oh God, those who are viewers and those online worshiping with us. We pray in Jesus' name that you will bless them as well and meet their needs. And they too have their concerns and they might be wondering what next. But we pray, oh God, we might bring hope to them. Help them to know in Jesus Christ we have a foundation and we have hope and the confidence that God will see us through. Thank you again for us meeting together as a family. Pray that you bless us. Things could have been different. Uh, Lord, if the storm had come, many would have still out of current. Many would have still perhaps have nowhere to live. But Lord, you have been so good. You have been so good. You have been so good. And that is why we praise you. And we adore your name even today. Help us not to take the goodness of God lightly. But may we continue to praise him and to thank him for his faithfulness. And we pray he'll continue to encourage you. We want to pray a special prayer even for Sister Karen this morning who is not well. Pray that you'll touch her body. That's one thing we know she would have been in church because she loves coming to the house of God. Encourage her. She might be listening and worshiping with us today. Pray you'll visit her in that bedroom and encourage her. And help her to know all will be well. And God is still on the throne. Pray for others who are not well. We pray for them, our senior citizens. You know them by name. We pray for, oh God, Corporal Harris. We pray for her today. We pray for others who need a miracle and need your help. And they are praying and they are crying out. I pray that God will meet needs. Pray for those who suffer even the, the last few days. Oh God, persons have... Uh, uh, in, 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 uh, and got into their space and try to take what is not theirs. We pray that, oh God, you'll encourage them. Bless her, touch Sister Richardson in a special way, encourage her, provide supply. And even in the midst of it, we pray that you'll encourage her. And Lord, continue to bless us as a congregation and meet our every need and bless all our visitors today and meet every need. Bless our nation. Bless our nation. And we pray that your spirit will continue to envelop us, continue to bless us and make us a blessing. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.